Look at that one. <laughs> That's a big, big one there, man. Look at that. Look at that crappie. <laughs> that. Now that was fun. Look at the size of that mouth. They, they got no problem eating, eating crankbaits or big hair jigs. You know, we mixed uh, uh, the baits up quite a bit today. And this time of the year, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about uh, uh, this, this pre-spawn mo movement at a time where, where, where there's a, an early pre-spawn, a mid pre-spawn and a late pre-spawn. And based on local weather and water conditions, these things do a lot of different things. Let's talk about those three uh, uh, periods of time and basic movement based on local weather and water conditions, particularly in natural lakes like this. I'm gonna put her back. That was fun, man. The early stages of pre-spawn are all about crappies gathering outside spring feeding areas and making their first tentative moves into the shallows once the weather stabilizes and the shallows begin to warm. With stable weather, crappies may begin to penetrate the extreme shallows after just a few days of calm, sunny weather. If so, look for them in shoreline brush, reeds, or other shallow cover. More likely though, unstable spring weather will see them making a week or more of tentative movements in and out of the shallows, relating to perimeter cover like weeds or dropping down into depressions or holes when less active. That's the situation we're fishing today. The fish are still basically out, but showing signs of wanting to come in. Basically, we're fishing temporary holding and feeding areas along their way into the shallows. Fish the areas with the best cover at just the right depth and you'll find the fish. By mid pre-spawn, most of the fish will have moved quite shallow into classic flooded wood or reed cover. Because spooky crappies are reluctant to leave the cover, classic bobber techniques are best for tempting them to bite. By late pre-spawn, crappies in natural lakes often shift to deep reed beds to begin building nests in areas with a mixture of sand and soft bottom, where broken reeds form overhead cover for protection from birds and other predators like you. Ooh, that's a that was a harder big one. Big one. Big one. Big crappie. Big, uh, big crappie. I actually thought it might have been a bass because he hits so Big crappie. Wow. Nice one, man. Look how pretty that is, man. Ooh. After a long, cold winter, that's a wrap. Wow, look at that. 